Hello, welcome. Um, thanks so much for asking this question, Ken. Ken asked, can we add star ratings? So the actual question is a little more involved. He was asking one click um, star ratings, and unfortunately, in order to do that, I imagine you have to do a little bit of scripting. You can sort of do that because, uh, let me just bear with me for just a second. You can actually insert an image over cells and then add a script to those. And uh, you can create like an on-click kind of uh, script where you then can, I imagine, change the image. But um, why, why I wanted to answer it in this way with um, data validation and emojis is because this actually adds a really cool element of ratings, star ratings, to our um, lists or any kind of data we're trying to get um, from other people. Maybe we're doing a survey or something. Um, maybe we want to show some kind of rating system. And it could be stars. It could be any emoji. Um, I used emojis here and used a data validation to um, give you a drop down. So technically, the answer is here's a one, two click answer. So it's double the amount of clicks you wanted. But it allows us to do a lot of really cool stuff in um, with this data uh, that I'll go into once I show you how to do this. So basically, I created a one, two, three, four, five um, range. You don't have to do this. You can actually do this within the data validation um, items. I'll show you. So I just copied this from um, the black one from Blackstar. Uh, sorry, Emojipedia. I got copy these from. You can also put a star, and there's a glowing star, there's a star. Um, if you're rating like um, hotel stays, you can use beds. Um, you can say how many, you can just copy that, and we can create a um, literally th one to five beds. How would you rate your uh, stay last night? And this is gonna take a little bit of time, one, two, three, four. And you can create this um, this list, right? Anywhere on, say, a, like a, a tab that says uh, drop downs. And then you can go to another tab. Let's use this. And you have maybe some data here. Oops. And you want to add a drop down for star rating, right? You want to say uh, rating. So here's what we did do. We would insert a data validation. List from a range, we just want to select this range. Okay, and then save. <clears throat> and now we can select one to, one to five stars. And that's it. Um, look, these glowing stars seem to look better at 15 and above. Um, font size, you can keep them blank, you can put, um, you can select three stars maybe as the center one. Um, but people are hesitant to, to, I think four and five is sort of the ones that are most used. Um, it's like one, four, and five are the most used star ratings. So <clears throat> star ratings tend to also um, morph the data into what people are sort of uh, not want to rate is right around four and five and then one, different cultures rate differently. Um, what you can also do, right, if you don't want to have another tab, uh, here, you can do this inside of just data validation. So we, instead of doing, um, insert from a range, we can list an items and emojis can do that as well. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. Now we have the same option here, but without having to refer to another page or another range. Um, and we can morph this any way we want. But now, what's the issue? The, the next issue coming up is like, great, we have this great visual representation of ratings, star ratings, one out of five or one out of ten, however you want to do it. Um, usually it's five. We may want to gather data from this, right? We want to say, this is two stars, this is three stars, and then what is the average star rating? Well, let's see what happens when we try to average this, these values, nothing, right? Because the value of function average caused a divide by error, divide by zero error. 
There's nothing there. It's emojis. They are images. They are not um, numbers. So maybe we want to have in this column or like in another sheet, we want to say, okay, from this data, we'll get these three, three, one, and then we want the average of this. D. And here our average is 2.4 stars, right? Um, so how do we get these? Uh, there are a couple ways to do that. One is uh, VLOOKUP. You can, if you have a range already um, of these stars, you can add 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 next to it. And this is a pretty typical way to um, that I've seen in the past to grab this data. So we just create a VLOOKUP when we say, okay, when, it, when you say three emoji stars, you actually go to B2 to C6 here, go to second, um, the second column and find out what that is. So that's three. Um, in this case, it's one in, here you know, we can show you one, what means one, five stars means five, and so on and so forth. And that's VLOOKUP, and that's absolutely, usually one of the quickest ways to do it, right? right? You need four, four arguments, one of which will always be false, or at least I always put false. I really don't know why anyone would put true. Um, maybe, it, <clears throat> I think on very, very long amounts of data, putting true helps you do that VLOOKUP faster. I mean, you can have like thousands of things. But yeah, you're just going for the search key, which is the emoji area, going for the range, which is going to be wherever the emoji list is with the numbers, and then you're going to go to the second column. Um, there's another way to do it with switch. Um, this is sort of fun because it, it, you have to just copy and paste emojis a lot. Um, and I'll do that again here for you. Here, we'll add switch here without just copying that. So we go equals switch, and we say, okay, the expression is the the rating, right? The D5. This is the drop down menu, and we're going to copy this all the way down, just like we would uh, VLOOKUP. But what are the expressions? And so switch is giving us a set of case and value. So the cases are what is the, the thing that it is, and what do you want to express it as? And so we want to express, um, we have to use uh, quotation marks. So we do one star in quotation marks, comma, one. Because when there's one star, we want the number one, comma. When there's two stars in quotation marks, we want comma the number two. And we can do this for three as well, and number three. And then in four, quote, in four stars in quotation marks, we can do the number four. In five stars, we can do the quotation, end quotation, five. And now when we change this to two stars, we have the number two. We have the number four for four stars. We have five for five stars. Great. Now, this is awesome because we can take stars, literal stars, and we can actually use different kinds of stars. We can use um, black stars here. We can use beds. We can use anything that emojis, <laughs> whatever you use, balloons, frowny faces. You can um, even do something interesting like this. Let me do this. Give me a second. I'll be right back. So we can say something like, how was the service? And we can give them like a yay or a no, terrible. We can we can put any amount and then we can say here, this equals switch. And whenever you have, um, we want to use this expression. And whenever you have this frowny face, maybe put a negative one. And we can get negative one here. We can do this, we can get this happy face. We can add this and we can say, okay, when we have a frowny face, or sorry, the opposite of a frowny, a smiley face, put a one. So now we can do smiley face equals one, angry face means negative, negative one. So this is really cool. We can do thumbs up, thumbs down selections. We can then turn that into data. But here's one thing that's missing and one thing you can do even better is what happens, say, if you have a data set and you're trying to display that data set to others, and you want to take a rating that already exists, maybe you um, download this from a rating site, or you already have a rating site and you're getting gathering data, or SEO ratings, and you're trying to visually represent the numbers one through five, or good and bad. Um, you can also do the opposite of with switch. You can take a number and switch it to a, this, this emoji. So let's do that here. Let's do switch, switch from data. So we have like a bunch of ratings, right? Maybe we have like this. 
and we want to go, okay, equals switch. What do we want to switch? We want to switch B3, and case one, it's going to have one smiley face. In two, comma, we're going to have two smiley faces and quotation marks. When we have the number three, we're going to have three smiley faces. When we have the number four, comma, we can do four smiley faces. Kind of number five, you see where I'm going with this, five smiley faces. So it's literally just the opposite of taking smiley faces or stars and moving them to numbers. We can take numbers and move them to smiley faces. So now we copy and paste this down and we suddenly have a visual representation of these numbers. And this is pretty darn cool. And this could really bring um, a smile to people's faces when they look at your data. They can actually visually represent these numbers instead of taking one like by the area. So what happens is this becomes like an area bar chart um, instead of looking at a single number here. Also, if you have you know the numbers 1 through 10 or something, that can even show more area here. But this is a really, really fun way to take numbers and move them into a visual representation without having to do something like a, a bar chart or a spark line or something really fun and, and may add some whimsy to your um, sheet. So thanks, Ken, for the question. I hope this was a, a fun answer for you. Bye.